The PDC Wiz is a super compact PoE powered controller that integrates control of a PDC camera with video switches like ATEM, VMix, TriCaster, Livestream Studio, or really any Skahoy supported live switcher system. It has perfect grip and high quality knobs. The PDC Wiz has exactly the same software and supports all the same cameras as all of our other controllers, so you're getting the full feature set in one sleek package. The PDC Wiz has six multi-function keys with OLEDs for presets, camera selection, and of course, live switching. And you also get a pressure-sensitive zoom rocker and a pressure-sensitive joystick pad. And there are two high-quality backlit knobs for setting camera focus, exposure, shutter speed, whatever parameters you want to access in your PDC camera. And all of this is wrapped in a durable aluminum enclosure and they have a slim, handy form factor. In fact, this design was just recently updated and we really like this unibody aluminum enclosure. You can configure which devices you control. You can choose what buttons do and which color they should have and what should be in the displays like you can on any Skahoy controller. And of course the PDC Wiz comes with a number of default configurations where the only thing you need to do is to just pick the IP address. Talking about IP, our controllers are powered over Ethernet, so you just need one cable for control and power. And if you plug your Skahoy controller into your existing network infrastructure, now you have complete freedom for placement of your controller. So you can control your switch from the next room or even from another country. Now I'll prove to you just how powerful the PDC Wiz is. So I set it up with OBS and four PDC cameras, which are even different models from different brands. So Bird Dog P100, P200, a Newtek PDC NDI camera, and a PDC Optics camera right here. So on the PDC Wiz, on the lower buttons, I have camera selection for camera number one, two, three, and four. And let's just go to camera number one, which is the P100. You can see the joystick pad can be used to pan the camera. Let's go to camera number two, that's the P200 over here. I can also pan this one, I can tilt it up, I can tilt it down, and I said it was pressure sensitive, so if I press it just lightly, it moves slowly. If I press it hard, it moves quickly, all right? Zoom, same thing. Now, if you look at the two knobs, we have access to iris and focus, so we can use that to adjust it. And if I press the upper edge on this key, you can see I'm paging through a number of options, which can be less or more depending on what you want. That's a matter of configuration. And on the lower edge on this button, I can access preset recall. So for the camera selected, currently camera number two, but let's go to camera number one here. You can see I can recall preset number one for this camera. I can recall preset number two. And let's say that I wanna bring this into a different position. So I'm just adjusting the camera a little bit. I can press and hold a key to store preset. It's, it's just that easy on the PDC Wiz. And finally, I wanna show you how you can also operate OBS at the same time. So these cameras would go into OBS and I just press the OBS button to toggle forth and back between camera control and switcher control. So in OBS mode, I can now change to scene number one, scene number two, three, and so forth. And notice how the displays on the unit will always tell you what the buttons do. And that's the power of Skahoy controllers. At the time of this recording, we integrate with more than 30 different PDC cameras from brands such as Sony, Panasonic, BirdDog, NewTek, Avonic, and many more. And we often release new integrations and features, so keep in touch with us if you want to learn more about the latest developments. On this PDC Wiz, I have vMix under control and two times Keybridge. So what is Keybridge? Keybridge is a software application Skahoy provides for free that lets you control a computer. So computer control, or some would call it macros. You can essentially execute keystrokes, shortcuts, move the mouse cursor around on your computer with Keybridge from a Skahoy panel. And in this case, we have Keybridge running on a PC and on a Mac. You'll see in a moment. So on the controller, I have basic control of vMix on these buttons. This is exactly why you want a Skahoy controller for vMix. You want to have the tactile control of the most important thing like preview and, and program, and I can make a cut and so on. That's the, the, the main thing you use to operate your show. But the joystick pad up here is 
enabled to move the mouse cursor around inside of vMix. So if you want to do something really special, which is not supported on your controller, like operating, uh, opening the menu uh, of the operating system, you can actually do that from the PTC OS. And I'm just going to exit once again. But you see how powerful that is. You have all the most used convenient functions at your fingertips. And if you are far away from your computer, you can still move around the mouse cursor and operate the application like if you had a mouse. So the final button here is the next previous slide button. And with that one, I can go to the next slide on the slideshow behind me and I can go back to the previous slide. And the power you see here is how I am both operating a Mac computer and a PC computer and vMix at the same time in this tiny little beautiful form factor. I hope this gives you an idea of what you can do with the PTC Wiz. And if you're looking for a larger panel, maybe check out the PTC Fly, the PTC Pro or the PTC Extreme. Those you can find at our website. Thanks for watching.